My purpose with this video is to give you enough and more reasons for you to never question your self-worth. For that matter of fact, even if one person ends up improving their self-worth or understanding the importance of their self-worth, I would believe that my work is done. If you end up being that person, do not forget to share your story with me in comments or reach out to me on social media because I believe this is going to be one of the most powerful videos and podcast episodes that I've created. So make sure that you stay till the end and listen to everything that I say. Listen to this episode over and over again until you extract the crux and the juice out of what I'm trying to share with you. With that heavy promise and that bar being set so high, let's get started and let's focus on how self-worth is, how low self-worth is eating into your net worth, how your self-worth is directly determined to your bank balance and how you can completely change the way you look at your life, your wealth and become a magnet to miracles by improving your self-worth. Prepare yourself to get ready, raise your self-worth with today's episode of Manifest with Paycheck to Profit. Hello, I'm Manish Ahuja, hoping to become your most favorite person by the end of this episode. But I'm also a money mindset and financial literacy coach and founder of Paycheck to Profit. And before I talk to you about how do you raise your self-worth or how, why is it so important for you to improve your self-worth, let's talk about what exactly is self-worth. Imagine this. It's a cell phone. Okay. Depending on how old the cell phone is, what kind of operating system it has, what kind of a brand it has. There's a purpose I'm purposely, uh, th there's a reason I'm purposely using a cover so that you don't know what exactly is this brand. It's literally a brick. It could be a hundred dollar phone or depending on how much you understand about the technology, if it's an absolutely latest phone, it could also be a thousand dollars. It's unfortunate that we as humans today have figured a way to determine value of a cell phone, of a shoe, of a piece of garment, of, a, of, an, of any other electronic product. But we don't know how to find our own self-worth. But there's also one more way of looking at it. There's a reason why you cannot put a tag on a human because people can change their lives. You can change your life at any given point of time that you want. There's a very prominent saying in the self-development industry or the coaching industry where I am working. And that saying is, you become what you think about. The purpose of this episode is to help you unlock that version of yourself that you want to become, what you think about, but you don't have the confidence to focus on. Low self-worth comes from a lot of baggage, past experiences, social media, negativity. In fact, we are living in a world where it is very easy for you to feel bad about yourself, feel that you're not worth it, feel that somebody else is better than you, keep comparing yourself to 2, 5, 10, 15, 50 people at all times. But what you need to understand is you are absolutely enough. You are absolutely worth it and you are capable of achieving whatever you desire. So... Let me show you how your low self-worth is eating into your bank balance and how reversing your low self-worth and actually understanding what your true self-worth is can be an absolute game changer for yourself, for your career, for your business, for your net worth, for your investments and every aspect of your life. Low self-worth is directly related to a person feeling low on confidence and low confident people are always low on energy. They'll skip on opportunities. They'll pass on situations which can turn out to be a game changer for your career or your business. Because people feel, I don't deserve this. Maybe I'll not be able to fulfill or achieve what is expected out of me or what is expected out of this role. But what if you can actually end up delivering more and better than what is expected? Because you are hardworking, you are interested, you, if a voice is telling you that you are not good enough, that voice has already evaluated what it needs, what needs to be done for you to achieve the finishing line. If you can imagine 
how to cross that finishing line you already have what it takes to actually cross the finishing line you just don't have the confidence to maybe you even have the confidence you know that you have the skill set you just don't have the self confidence to say yes i am ready to take this up as a challenge and i will do whatever it takes the reason why you don't have that confidence is because low self worth because you have such low self worth you know what happens even when let's say you are going through an appraisal you will not have the confidence to negotiate your salaries or if you are into a business you will not have the confidence to sell confidently to your prospect you will not have the confidence to uh, approach your prospect with a year long deal or a high ticket sale because you will still not have the confidence that you are capable of making that sale that is how low self worth is eating into different aspects of your financial net worth you really need to start setting your goals because once you set up a goal and once you achieve that goal you start getting the confidence and you don't need to set really lofty goals even a small 5% jump a 10% jump can completely help to assist you in setting better goals in the description of this particular podcast episode you will find a link to one of my past episodes which wherein i have created a five step system to define better goals because only when you define better goals systematic goals goals which are clear will you find a way to achieve those goals it's a very important episode it's an episode which has helped multiple people so make sure that you listen to that episode after you're done with this one more way your low self worth is eating into your progress is when you have low self worth you are constantly comparing yourself to others you are not comparing on how you are better unfortunately you end up comparing on oh this person has achieved this already it makes me feel all the more bad this person has was not as good as a student as i was when we were batchmates but see how much more this person has achieved today every time you are going on social media you are scrolling and you are going down the rabbit hole of doom low self worth is something that i have personally struggled with i am still on my journey to overcome that particular challenge for myself i have covered a very big ground which is exactly why i have the confidence to even shoot myself or record myself and present myself to you in such a confident manner this is a very small part of my journey that has left and i'm going to overcome that very soon and you'll know about it but the idea is because i have been where many people are dealing with struggling with this low self worth i understand how that feels which is exactly why i'm creating this episode to do my bit to help you having said that i would like to continue helping you and for that i invite you into my community in the description you will find two links one is to become a part of the profit clan wherein for free you will start getting updates on your email about the new things that i am coming up with if i'm doing a new webinar or if i'm releasing content on instagram or on youtube which is blowing out of proportion and it's getting a lot of views so you can get to know about it you and if you prefer to get all these updates on whatsapp you'll find a link to become a part of my community on whatsapp so the idea is wherever you feel comfortable get connected to paycheck to profit so that i can keep giving you value by sharing more and more things which i am creating for my community the last thing which is directly associated with low self worth is low self worth will definitely give rise to a lot of money blocks now what exactly are money blocks money blocks are belief systems about how you look at money how you feel about money and how you think about money you become what you think about your bank balance your net worth net worth also becomes how you think about money so accordingly low self worth is actually impacting your financial life from all angles it is giving rise to more money blocks it is making you compare yourself to others it is making you skip on opportunities it is making you feel so low on confidence that even if you can achieve something you're passing up passing on that situation because you feel that you're not good enough believe me you are good enough because 
there are so many people who probably started listening to this episode or watching this episode and they could not even pull through till this moment listen to this episode again and again listen to the other episodes subscribe to paycheck to profit and i'm not saying that because i'll get one more subscriber or i'll get more likes no this is for you do this for yourself be selfish for once not this is not even being selfish this is taking the first step towards the right direction i am more than happy to be the catalyst to help you please do that get connected to profit land attend all my seminars my webinars my master classes extract as much value from my content as possible just stay on this journey towards becoming a better version of yourself that's all what i can tell you because that's the one thing that has helped me get the confidence to talk to you today and share my knowledge and share my confidence with you through this episode of manifest with paycheck to profit if you have any questions about whatever you've heard today or whatever you've seen please feel free to connect with me my social media handles will be found in the description of this podcast episode connect with me ask me your questions for all you know if the question is really juicy and meaty enough the next episode of this podcast could be towards an answer to the question that you ask me if you like this episode give it a five star review on whatever application you're listening to this episode on or give it a like because that one piece of effort that you take will allow this episode to reach out to hundreds of m- more people every day and you will end up becoming a catalyst to somebody else manifesting their desires through that one like of yours if you're feeling absolutely generous i'll be the most happy and i'll feel maximum amount of gratitude if you choose to take a screenshot of this episode right now and share it on your social media do not forget to tag pay to pro and mr emojical that's my personal handle on instagram linkedin twitter x and i'll be more than happy to reshare your shout out with my following thank you so much for giving me your time thank you so much for listening to this episode till the end i request you if you've listened to this particular episode till the end it has definitely connected with you on some level you've needed this you know it for a fact please listen to this episode again and again follow me on social media i promise to continue giving you value across all social media platforms so stay connected interact with me ask your questions leave comments just i'm telling you extract maximum value out of the knowledge that i have for you thank you so much i'll now see you in the next episode next monday until then keep going keep growing thank you so much